We've all found ourselves in a situation where there's someone in our life who behaves in a way that we just don't like for whatever the reason. Maybe they're rude or selfish or inconsiderate. Maybe they're even abusive. Or maybe it's just that they keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Maybe it's themselves who they treat poorly. Or maybe they seem to be stuck or stagnant, hopeless and depressed. But whatever it happens to be, we may also get the sense that they're capable of doing better. Maybe we see great potential in that person. Maybe from our own vantage point, we can see quite clearly that change is not only possible, but it may even be a very simple matter if only they could realize this themselves. And perhaps we find ourselves in a situation where we're waiting for that person to come to this realization, waiting for them to change. Or perhaps we're actively trying to provoke that change in them, to encourage it or to inspire it to happen. Perhaps we've offered them some great pearls of wisdom. Perhaps we've given them the most sound advice, but nothing seems to make any difference. And after some time, we can find it deeply frustrating and disappointing. We seem to become caught somewhere between a sense of futility and hope. Now, I know from my own experience that people are capable of changing. I know that people can change over time, that they do grow and evolve. And I know this because I'm one of them. And not to suggest that I'm done growing, but I've certainly come a long way in many regards. There are certainly aspects of my personality, character, life choices, behavior, and perception which have changed significantly over the years. And so I know firsthand that change is possible. But I've also observed that most people don't change, at least not in any significant way. Most people remain stuck in the same patterns of thinking and behaving all throughout their lives. And when I speak to someone who is waiting for someone else to change, who remarks that they see so much potential in that person, I often remind them that we all have within us the very same potential, the potential to be the most kind and considerate, compassionate beings, the most wise, the most creative and innovative, the most joyful and peaceful and loving. We all have that potential within us, every single one of us. But very few ever realize that potential, very few ever manifest it. That is the harsh reality. And it's really not too difficult to understand why. But before we get too caught up in the desire for someone else to change, we really should first consider how difficult it is for us to change. Often we place demands on others, even on the entire society to change. But how willing are we to change? And if we have changed in any regard, how easy was it? I can say from my own experience that oftentimes change is very challenging. On the one hand, our thoughts and beliefs, as well as our behavior, can be very deeply ingrained, conditioned, programmed. And just the desire to change alone is not always enough. There is some degree of effort to be made. Often change occurs over a long period of time with a great deal of attention and self-observation. But secondly, there is also the matter of taking personal responsibility, which may include admitting that we made a mistake or that we were wrong or whatever it happens to be. And that in and of itself can be quite challenging because we have our pride or we have some self image to maintain. And that image does not include someone who makes mistakes or misjudgments or is inconsiderate or whatever it happens to be. And certainly, if we have done something to hurt someone, if we have behaved selfishly or inconsiderately, we don't like to admit that it was selfish or inconsiderate or undeserved. And this perhaps is the hardest barrier to break through for most of us, to be able to swallow our pride, to put ego aside and admit to our misbehavior, to be accountable, to take responsibility. And this also applies to those of us who may feel stuck in life who are deeply unhappy, who seem to be victims of unfortunate circumstances beyond our control. All of that as well can be difficult to change if we don't take responsibility for ourselves. 
As long as we remain in a sense of victimhood, we're essentially suggesting that we're incapable of changing the situation. We're powerless to do anything about it. It's entirely outside of our control. And in some circumstances, it may be that certain things are indeed outside of our control. But there are always aspects of any situation which we can influence. But that only occurs when we have the willingness to take responsibility to change those things. The problem, however, is that being a victim or having a sense of powerlessness is actually very convenient because if we can't possibly change anything, that also means that we don't have to make any effort because any effort would be pointless anyway. But the reality is that often there is something that we can do, we just don't want to. We don't want to have to make that effort. And so we convince ourselves that we're powerless because that absolves us of any responsibility. That takes away from us the pressure of having to make any effort to change the situation. So with all of this understood, we can see why most people don't change. Either they're unwilling to admit to their wrongdoing or their mistakes, or they're unwilling to take responsibility to change themselves. So where does that leave us? Well, we really need to examine ourselves. Why is it that we want the other to change? Why is it that we go on waiting? And is it worth the wait? Can we accept the other just as they are without any expectation or demand for them to change? After all, we really have no power to change anyone else, but we do have all the power to change ourselves. So in what way might we change? Can we be less demanding and more accepting? Can we be less condemning and more understanding? And if it's a situation where the other is completely disrespectful or even abusive, can we seek to understand why it is that we tolerate it? Maybe that's what needs to be changed. Certainly it would be nice if the other were nicer, but can we realistically expect that? Instead, can we have the self-respect to walk away. If you truly believe, as I do, that we all have within us the potential to change for the better, then give your attention to that potential within yourself. Don't worry so much about what anyone else is doing. What are you doing to change yourself? If you find value in this content, please like, share, and subscribe.